It is day 10 of the Morning Miracles Challenge, and I hope you had a wonderful time this morning with the Lord. And today we're going to look at Psalm 59, verse 16. This was a, um, chat, a little verse picked out by Allison, who is a leader of Team One. And it goes like this. But I will sing of your strength. I will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning, for you have been to me a fortress and a refuge in the day of my distress. Allison goes on to say, when David wrote this Psalm, he was living as a fugitive. Saul was intent on murdering him and sent his guards out in the night to seize him. When morning came, David had escaped and could sing of God's mercy. David was confident that with God as his defense, not only would he survive till morning, but he would sing about it. God brings us through trouble so that we may experience his power and mercy and steadfast love and have reason to praise him. When we give God the very first part of our day, we will be following Jesus' example. We will be giving him our best, free from distractions. Every morning is a gift from God. Let's wake up praising him for getting us through the night and each day. Let's seek him before everything and begin our day proclaiming his faithfulness. Let's reflect on a past full of God's mercy. The greater our trial, the more reason to sing his praises. Well, preach it, Allison. Yes. <laughs> um, this is her question for the teens. How has making God a priority each morning helped you to reflect on your past and allow you to sing of the loving kindness and faithfulness of God. It's a wonderful way to close these 10 days together. It has been an honor to grow, seek, serve alongside you ladies. And I really hope that you enjoyed our time together. Now, as we part ways, I just wanna encourage you to keep it going. Um, it is a daily practice. These 10 days were kind of just to help you get those roots in um, so that you can keep it up throughout the month. Um, we are inside the Morning Miracles Challenge Facebook group, but we're going to go on break as a leadership team. Feel free to communicate in your teams if you like. If you're planning to join us next month, it'll be so great to see you again. So in the meantime, May God bless you in your morning time and your pursuit of him. I know that he's going to give you insights. He's going to give you renewed strength and courage. And he's going to help you in ways that are just miraculous. This is Laura Gabriel signing off. See you. February will be here before you know it. If you haven't joined us in the Facebook group yet, I invite you to do so now. The link is below. Our private group is the place to be to make your mornings with the Lord a habit that sticks. I hope you'll join us.